In 2012, the Ontario guidelines for cervical screening, i.e. pap tests, were modified to reflect our improved understanding of the natural progression of the development of cervical cancer. Those guidelines now included a change in the interval for screening to three years in low-risk individuals from the previous suggestion of annual pap smears. It also did not recommend pap test screening in individuals under the age of 21 and to stop screening at the age of 70. There are some instances where screening is more frequent and these include individuals that have had previous treatment for abnormalities on the cervix or individuals with a compromised immune system. Women that have sex with women and transgender males that still retain a cervix are advised to undergo the same cervical screening regimen as women who have sex with men. In many respects, cervical screening is about the early detection of changes that may become cancerous. In the long run, it is always much easier to deal with something that is not cancer than it is to deal with cancer itself.